Alrighty, let's do this. Mm. Ah. Just have a whole 20 minute video of me drinking tea. Mm. Cause that's what everybody wants to see. Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Resident Evil Director's Cut with Morris. And at the end of the last part, we were just doing a bit of exploration, really, in the uh, the guardhouse. Um, and I think we're only left with one place to go, and that's the basement. Um, I remember uncovering a ladder. In fact, I should probably linger on that a little longer, <laughs> so I know where to go. But yeah, um, we found the entrance to another level, so let's let's go check that out, shall we? Let's do it. Ah, Monday. How's everybody doing, guys? Start of the week. How was the weekend? I had a blinder. Mmm. Ah, oh, so good. I'm back on the Yorkshire Gold. Yeah, I had a blinder. I went down to see Manchester to see um, a good friend of mine, Phil. What's that? You've never heard of Phil? We'll go. Phil's on the channel. He's there, and he's there, and he's on this video as well. God, you you need to you need to catch up if you haven't heard of the guy. <laughs> but yeah. Went down there, center of matches, ah, it's a good time. I like being that guy who kind of, um, I like traveling across, you know, the country to see people. Because I like being that guy who kind of shows up, you know, who doesn't know anybody but shows up one night only, and then he's off in the morning, you never see him again. <laughs> uh, I like being that guy. Hopefully it'll be the same story this weekend as well. Who put these wardrobes back here? <laughs> There's a letter. Will you descend? Well, I don't like the way you phrase that, but I guess so. Whoa, what's with the music? <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, I've got with me, um... Inventory's switched up a little bit, but I've got with me everything that I think that I need. Um, there's no other key items. I guess the crank, but I don't think I'll need that again. Um, at least not for a little bit. And I've switched to the shotgun as, like, primary weapon as well. Because, <laughs> you know, I uh, don't think the pistol is going to do much from this stage. And I've got quite a few shells, so... Why not? Looks like I can move these. It's just a box. But yeah, I think... I, I sense puzzles. I sense not very complicated puzzles. <laughs> In you go. Now is that gonna flow over the No no, okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh god, I'm gonna have to go fetch the other one, aren't I? Hmm. Well, heart pounding action at the beginning of this one. Ah. Uh. God, how awkward is this? <laughs> Jill has no ability to, you know, pull boxes. So. Gotta do it the long way. Let mm. me um, just finish up my tea. Wow, this is a really long freaking corridor. <laughs> so, what's what's been in the news lately? Gay marriage, that's that's all the rage these days. Uh, no, what's been in my news? I pre-ordered, if you didn't if you didn't see, um, put a little notice up, but I pre-ordered the new Tomb Raider at last. I've only been banging on about it for about six months, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I pre-ordered that. I'm planning to do it like a first-time playthrough of it. On release date, March the 5th. Um, yeah, I'll get those up as soon as I can. But I've been waiting for that game for ages, so... Um, Really excited for that. I was very... Oh my god, Herbs. I was very tempted to go for um, like one of the collector's editions. I know there's a couple of different ones. Uh, but I, you know... I don't know, it's a lot of money. It's like 60, 60 quid or something, maybe 70, something like that. But that's a lot of money for a game. I've never... I don't really go for the collector's editions, really. Um, I think I've only ever had one, and that's the Fallout 3 collector's um, version. And I didn't really make enough use out of it to, to, to kind of warrant 
making it a regular thing, you know. But they are pretty cool, I like, I'd be interested to see some of the artwork behind things. But, you know, I don't, I don't think it's worth the price, that's all I'm saying. My god. Oh yeah, I remember reading this, it's like a flooding issue. Well, something has clearly broken out here. Whoa, holy shit, what the... Hey, you wanna just, you wanna just get your hands off. Assuming you've got any. Good god, that did a lot of damage. Get the hell away, get the frick, what? Use this, oh, that's the C room key, thank god. Thank god. Hell yeah, I'll get rid of it. Okay, get in there, just get in there, just get in there. <laughs> wow, okay. So apparently they were breeding sharks. They don't even have to be zombie sharks. Regular sharks are enough to deal with. Okay, well this is red and flashing, so I'm guessing this does something. There's a lever. Will you move it without reading the instructions? Well, <laughs> of course I will! What did that do? Well, that can only mean good things for me. Nice, is that it? It's as simple as that. I don't know where that water just drained to. <laughs> oh, there's a little vent there. Okay, fair enough. There's a button. Will you push it? There's a button that says do not push. Will you push it? Absolutely. There was a sound from the room next door. Wait, the water's drained out here, hasn't it? <laughs> Better hand, dude. Oh, good. Excellent. Freak is that noise? Is that the sharks? Holy shit. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, wow. I can actually. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> There's a lot of doors in here as well. See how much to do. Where's Barry when you need him? Hey, clips. I'll take those. They're all wet and useless. I don't even think I need these anymore, but I'll take them. I'm not gonna say no to ammo. Alright, give me that. What else have we got? What are the key items have you got for me? Danger, danger. Do not enter. So is this just like an armor? Covered. <laughs> I'm guessing this was. Oh, ha, hello. Shells. I'll take those. They're just handing me these shells. These aren't. These aren't wet and useless. I hope. <laughs> oh, just it's too. It's almost too generous. You know, you almost kind of feel like something's gonna happen soon, <laughs> or I'm gonna need all these. Don't think I missed you, Sparkly. I never miss the Sparklies. Another key. Why, thank you. What does this one do? Nothing important. Well, you say that about all the keys, and it. Oh! 003, that's one of the rooms upstairs. Excellent. Alright, I'm guessing that will be it for that room. Alright, what else have we got in here? This is a beautiful little stockpile. Okay, so there's only one more room left across from me. Sweet! So can those sharks still kill me? <laughs> I don't want to get too close. I don't want to get eaten by a dying shark. That's got to be the worst way to go in Resident Evil. Oh, is that a switch? Nope, that's just the door again. Good. Great. Good news. Had to check. <laughs> Ugh. Now they give the detection on that door quite a wide berth there. Alrighty, so what's actually in here? Well, that does not look like I want to go near it, but... Looks like a plant root. Presumably plant 42. Yes, no, yes, maybe? 
At least it's not hitting me in the face. So I can respect that. Alright, so I don't need this then. <laughs> I might need that later. Probably gonna kill those and then I can actually get in the room. Oh crap, are they blocking the door? You better not bite me while I'm trying to get in here. <laughs> Thank you, Ad. Alright, open up. Open up, sucker. What you got in here? Thank god those boxes don't... Don't re reset. Oh, you know I want to go up it. <laughs> wow, I've got a pace on for that ladder. Alright, it's rocking. Wait a second. Where did the cabinet go? Somebody's been here and moved it. Something on this bed? No. I think I cleared all these rooms out, didn't I? That music is way too creepy. Something about those keys, man. It's just <laughs> sending chills down you. Alright. So room 003 is through here, I believe. Oh man. Is it gonna be chemistry class in this episode? Most probably. Please tell me I can Yes! Throw it away. Just throw it away. I'll not go back to the item. Ugh, what are you doing, man? I'm aware I have the useless radio. I wonder how much time of this playthrough is just door transitions. <laughs> it's got to be at least an hour by now. Anybody in here? Anybody want to say hello? Anybody want to say what's up? I don't see an auto aim. Excellent. A row of red books. Well, I wonder what's going to go in here. <laughs> Vjolt report. As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of the plant infected by the Tyrant virus, T-virus. We also have found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in... <laughs> UMB number 16. Wow, it's catchy. One of the series of the UMB chemicals. Umbrella chemicals, I guess. That we used for that experiment. We named this umbrella number 16 as V-Jolt. In our calculation, it will take less than 5 seconds to destroy Plant 42 if we put the V-Jolt directly on the root. Well, I think I know what's coming. You need to mix some of the, the Umbrella Series chemicals in a specific order to create V-Jolt. The, the Umbrella Series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is to the human body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Following are the types of Umbrella Series chemicals and their brief characteristics. <sighs> okay, red, purple, green, yellow, white. Blue. Should I be writing this down? Oh no, I, I get to keep it, don't I? So I'm guessing you just kind of add them up, right? So like, red plus green equals yellow. <laughs> like, that makes sense, right? <laughs> to get to number 16. Makes sense. Now a book is missing. This will never do. Ooh, secret door. I want that in my house one day. <laughs> I will have one of those in my house one day. Where, did, where even was that? really do with a desk with shotgun shells in. I hope I hope the pattern is going to continue here. Please be shotgun shells. Or something equally as... Great, ink ribbons. That's... Yep. Nope, it's fine. I'll just throw ink ribbons at the zombies. Save your game. Alright, before I go in the secret room, I'm just going to go in the non-so-secret room. Gotta check this shit out. Hey, baby. How you doing? Oh, probably not so good after that. Probably not so good. Why are you protecting these with your life, dude? You should have just used these, you know? <laughs> that is a shame. But I'll, I'll just take those off your hands. I'm sure that's fine. 
Anything in the toilet? Nothing special in the toilet. You gotta check. Nothing major about this this wash stand. <laughs> uh, are these direct translations? Dust collected inside. The bath towel is dirty. I see. Anything on the shelf? No. All right, flame rounds, eh? All right, I get it. I get this dust. This is a dusty ass place. Got it. <laughs> Well, where does this secret door lead then? This isn't on the map. Oh, it leads into the... Oh, I get it. Well, isn't the plant in that room? Because it's blocking the door, and I don't want to just... Rock up. Ah, what if it locks behind me? God, I don't want to do this again. Alright, let's just go for it. <laughs> If it's in there, we'll just spin around and we'll, we'll leave. Yep, it's in there. Oh, it's locked! Great! Fantastic! Fantastic! Oh, I can get the Oh, thank god. Oh my god. <laughs> Whew, we can leave through the double doors. Whew, oh man. Man, oh man. That was gonna be nasty. I thought I was just going to have to take it on with my bare hands. And my shotgun. <clears throat> but primarily my bare hands. Alright, I'm going to um, put this stuff away and then... I guess we're doing a bit of chemistry. That'll be fun to watch. <laughs> Prepare your voices, guys, because you're going to want to shout at the screen pretty loudly. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hear you or not. <laughs> Alright, we'll put all this stuff away. Because I don't need this. I assume if you use the V-Jolt, it's easier to kill. That's all I can really think of for that. Clip, that away, herb. Ugh, yeah, that's all I can really think of. Where are the chemicals then? It's gotta be in that room with the bottles in it. Presumably. God, all this for a key. Couldn't just blow the lock. I've got a grenade launcher. I've got a bazooka. <laughs> I can't just blow doors open. I've got to go through all this. <laughs> Survival horror logic. I don't know. I wouldn't live by it. Alright, so it's got to be in here. Okay, well, this is where it's going to get interesting. Try and figure this friggin' thing out. Okay, well, let's pick up some of these, then. Empty bottle. So i got to fill them all up, different chemicals, mix them, match them, whatever. Should I be re writing this down? i got to write this down. I'm going to get... Where's, where's my pad? Where's my survival horror pad? Where is it? Friggin'... Gotta have it handy. Gotta have these things with you at all times. Ugh. All right. Well, we'll we'll do it on the um, yeah. We'll do it on the same page as Dino Crisis, <laughs> just in case I have it. Well, these are just sums. Why do I need to write these down? <laughs> I know that two plus four equals six. I think I should be able to remember that. But I'll keep the pad with me, just in case. Unless that's no. Well, we'll just pick up these. We'll we'll experiment. I don't think I can. Fail, can I? <laughs> or can I? I don't know. Well, I, can, I might be able to empty the bottles. I kind of want to get this first time, though. So let's think about this. I'm going to get that file out again. I'll write the... F Wait, is it on here? Something is written on the wall. Water equals... Okay, I'll, I'll write those down. Water is one. Water equals one. Red is two. Purple is three. And green equals four. Excellent. <laughs> ah, here we are again. Okay. Alright, so... So what do I gotta make? I gotta make the number 16 out of all that. Botany book. VGL report. Great. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> 
Okay, where are the old, um, okay, there we go. So three is purple, green is four, yellow is six. I'll write that down separately from the others. Number seven is white. Wait, wait, what? That is really confusing, how they're all kind of numbered differently. <laughs> so number seven is, so white equals seven is what you're trying to tell me. That's what you're trying to tell me. 13 is blue. 13, and we need brown. Stimulating smell. Why is that? <laughs> Did I need to know that? Brown. Oh god, the mic's falling over. Brown equals 16. Right, got it. Let me just fix the mic real quick. Whew. Ah. Uh, okay, well, with that in mind, let's, let's do this, shall we? Alrighty, so I need... 16, so I'm going to make 16 with three bottles. Um, four plus three. Hang on, this is like freaking Countdown or something. <laughs> I need Rachel from Countdown to help me with this. Alright, so there's a sink here, so I imagine one is... Where are the chemicals, for a start? Are they on the shelves? Oh, there we go, number four. So that's... That's... Right, okay. Yes, I will. Okay, so how many chemicals can I fit in one thing? Is it three or two or what? Okay, so that's that's four, right. Wait, there's another bottle there. Let me take that, I'll take that. Alright, so let's just start throwing stuff together, see what we can come up with, see what happens, yeah? Are there any more chemicals on here? Okay, so that's number two, so let's take one of those. So have we got number three and number one. Oh, the sink will be number one, that's water. Where's number three? So two, three, and four are the base chemicals, right? Or is it just... No, we only seem to have one and... Freaking... That doesn't make any sense, why would there not be number, number three? Or am I just... Looking in the wrong plate, is it on there? Is that it? Nope. No. Not until I find this other chemical. Now, I would have thought it was on this shelf. But it doesn't seem to want to be on this shelf. Okay, well, I guess we'll fill up one with water then. Alright, maybe we can make number three with something else. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put one... Wait, we'll put one and two together. Add it with four, that's that seven. And then... <laughs> Am I going to have to speed this up? Okay, so that's number two. So that is six. So what's six plus seven? That's thirteen. So is that what I'm trying to get? So that's number seven. So now I need one with number six, then I can add them together. Right, okay. Right? Is that what I want? Well, how do I get number three? Because then I'll need a number, another, another three in that. Two plus four. Alright. Can't be that difficult. Two... See, this is where you'd think a couple of A's, GCSE science, would come in handy. Alright, number seven plus number six. Seven plus six, thirteen, that's blue, but then I need a number three. So what? So I'd put red and water together, and then I'd get purple, and then I'd add that on. Right, so I need, I need a number six, so how do I get that? Red and green, so I need a red and green, right. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Easy. <laughs> okay, so number four goes in there. Number three, number number two, sorry. Add to that, then add that to the other thing. How big are these bottles? <laughs> and then, hey presto, you get a Long Island iced tea. Oh god. Uh, okay, so, so add those together. 
Green and blue. No, green and red, even. Alright, so that plus that. So there's your 13. So now I just need water and another red, and then add that in. Alright. Okay, easy. No problem. It's fine. God, I thought we were going to be here for ages. <laughs> yes, I'll put that in. Well, I mean, uh, they, they give you one extra bottle for no reason then. Don't need that extra one. Damn it. Okay, so water plus that is that plus that equals Vigil. Well, hey! Round of applause, round of applause. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. It's fine. <laughs> Autographs, that'll be later on tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, let's go downstairs, shall we? And, uh, V-Jolt. It's ass. Quite literally, I guess. Well, that went pretty well. Okay, I don't need you notepad anymore. You take a breather. Don't need job. Don't need job for today. Ah, all this for a key. All this for a key. <laughs> Whew. Okay, you can quit with the creepy music now. It's fine, I got it all figured out. Barry could never do that. We never rely on Barry for that. Probably just be like, I have this, and just shoot the glass or something. Actually, Barry wouldn't need to. He just. Whoa, hey, ho. He can't just spawn there. He wouldn't need to. He'd just walk in with his magnum, blast it. Alrighty, I'm sorry. I don't want to have to do this. Ugh. Can I just load this into my shotgun? Nice. I would have thought I would kill it altogether, to be honest. It's withered. Goody. So I'm guessing it should now be easier to kill. I am, however, going to take the acid rounds with me when I do this. <laughs> just to make sure. Freaking sharks. Why throw those in there? Why throw those in there? Alright, let's get out of this danky basement. Is that a word? <laughs> yeah, acid round. Well, it gave me flame rounds first, didn't it? So maybe it might be best to take... I'll take both. I'll take them all. <laughs> they won't know what hit it. With that much flying at it. Hey, I love nature, you know, but when it's trying to kill me, I'm not such a big fan. I'm assuming that statue is also doing its job. <laughs> Nothing's actually happened there, but... Better safe than sorry. Alrighty, well, let's switch out my weapons. In fact, I'm gonna... Whoa, hey ho! I'm gonna pause it. <laughs> for now, guys, uh, well, thank you very much for watching this extremely exciting and eventful episode of... Uh, I don't even need these. Of, uh, of Resident Evil Director's Cut with Morris. And please do join me for the next one, guys. We'll be taking on the big Plant 42, which probably won't be that difficult, considering what we just spent half an hour trying to accomplish. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope to see you in the next episode. See you in a bit. There's my friggin' bazooka.